So last part of the prototype Gundam video, I talk about how its decor is different and inspired the army to use their colors, and how the space force use a different decor. I don't have my rollout color RX seventy eight dash two three frame with me, so. Just use this little guy, like way back with the GM before. Anyways, um, it is sort of the intention of the two creators of Gundam, Tomino, to make Gundam looks more like an aircraft. Well, you can't. Well, he did well. It's a, it's a mobile suit. It's a man thing, but. He want them to feel like an extension of military aircraft, but Okawala imagine mobile suit to be an extension of, but Okawala imagine mobile suit to be an extension of the army, so armor fighting vehicles or just infantry. In the end, as you know, Gundam, the original Mobile Suit Gundam, start starting to develop and make it into anime, and revisit, it becomes a mix of both. To be honest, it is mostly largely enlarged infantry, but a lot of the battles take place in space, where it makes more sense to have this giant max instead of. On Earth, but they make it work later with they make it work later with double zeta. To be honest, where in the desert there is a bunch of desert type zero mobile suit that just really hammer home how adapting to the environment makes it work and how. Sort of again infantry, but you know, evaluate like enhanced infantry would work great in those environments. And of course, later you get a zero eight MS team, which is literally just Gundam in Vietnam, sort of, not really, but you know, a combination of extension of mobile suit combat on the ground as big infantry. Which is operating on the side with the side story Blue Destiny, but we'll talk about De Blue Destiny when we get to Blue Destiny. For now, it is just the color scheme, how Okawala is thinking mobile suit as extension of infantry, thus army, thus Lovis, while. Tomino is thinking um, aircrafts, which is not exactly high vis, but brighter in general, or especially for a prototype, or for should say non radar like visual visual base uh, aircrafts, they would be brighter. It is also kind of trend in the seventies. Okay, it's 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 both. It's both toys need to be brighter, but also military aircraft at the time, especially high altitude aircrafts and spaceships are mostly white and silver. That's why high vis. Um, but at the same time, we know. There are things like the Dragon Lady and the Blackbird that are, and later stealth, stealth military aircraft that are black. Although as time went on, they become gray, because, you know, if you have black spot in the sky in a bright, bright day, you know, it's pretty clearly there's an aircraft out there. So, along the way, it comes in the middle, to a really really medium gray that also absorbed 
a lot of the non-visible lights. But aside from all that, because Minovsky particle take care of all, all non-visible, well, most non-visible light. Uh, we know a lot of the UX suits uses, uh, well, not all the UX suits, but we know they still have laser communication. So with sufficiently high output, you can still penetrate the Minofusky particles. I'm not sure if higher frequency works, uh, but you know, infrared works. So so long there is enough power or enough reflection out of it, it would penetrate through the Minofsky particle interference. Anyways, uh, I talk about how ground type use khaki, which not entirely true for ground type Gundam, but you know, there are things like the GN command and later the uh, GM type C. Uh, well, there is the that's a type ground type Gundam, but not here. Uh, so this is this is not the exact gray as like this gray is not the exact gray as the prototypes, but when you compare to the white, it is very much gray. Also, GM you will see have a light green hue for most other entry. Uh, it's supposed to be lunar titanium with no paint on so I guess G-Frame just have fancy painted elite GMs that's why you see so many details on it instead of GM just being flat out I don't know simple motor parts anyways yeah I will I would do a more detailed comparison between prototype and GM and Gundam once I get one of the RX-78-2 made, you know, assembled uh, and probably the gun can to comparing all their firearms but for now, for this video, it's just the color scheme, the decor yeah, having been not doing the explore format for a whole week really makes me makes me miss it that's probably why you see a lot like i start to get why some youtubers just spill the beans they you know script is good i like script too but sometimes it's just it feels better it feels great to just have things in front of the camera and talk Thanks for watching.